Most women, believe it or not, don't want to talk on the phone. They just want to text. And so guys are used to that. And so if it's a big, so think about calling, right? Like calling can be a big deal depending on like where you are in, in as far as like the date process is concerned. So if you're a guy and you meet a girl and you go on a date with her and you want to talk to her and you've texted her, like calling her, like this is what a lot of guys have experienced. The more that they try to like do a lot of things, the more that they end up screwing things up and the girl that they're talking to ends up ghosting them, right? Like there's all kinds of things that women don't even realize that other women ghost for or do or whatever, right? Like if a guy goes on a date with a woman and the woman says that she really likes him and that she can't wait to go on another date with him, does that mean that she is ever going to text him again? or respond to any of his texts or pick up his phone call? Absolutely not. She might end up ghosting him. That's right. You have no idea what guys are going through in the dating market. And so a lot of guys, they'll get this, right? And they'll go on a date and they'll think it's great. And this woman will say all these sweet things and how she can't wait to see him again. And then she will ghost. And so you have to realize that a lot of guys are trying to play it cool these days because they don't want to screw things up with you. And so what they'll do is they will not try to talk on the phone and they will just text and they'll set up a date and then they'll just be like, okay, I'm not touching things until we get to the date because I suck at texting and I don't want to say something stupid and I don't want to screw things up with this woman and it very well might happen, right? At least as a woman, if you say something stupid to a guy, the guy might be like, well, she said something stupid, but I'm still interested in hooking up, right? And so he'll still end up meeting up with you a lot of times because he doesn't care that you said something stupid, <laughs> right? But for a lot of women, like they say that men fall in love with their eyes and women fall in love with their ears. And so what a lot of women will end up doing is if they hear something that they don't like, they'll end up just disappearing because of whatever. So it's it's one of those things out there. You have to you have to have a little compassion for men and just realize that there's a you know, you want all these things, right? You have all these expectations and these things that you think that guys are supposed to be doing. Those guys were raised in all kinds of different crazy environments, right? And they had parents that were divorced and they're they some of them have never met their fathers or their fathers were alcoholics or whatever, right? And they don't have any idea how to interact with women. And so they don't know that you should call or they don't know that you should text however many times or you, they don't know that they should do all these certain things. And they certainly don't know that they should do it with you because they've gone on other dates with other women. And those women have had all their own expectations that are completely different than yours. And so right now the, the dating world is all over the place, right? And so everybody is like, I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing. What am I supposed to do with my hands? Right? And so they're in all these weird situations and guys don't know what to do. And so they just do whatever they think is going to work most likely.